Hello, all right, we got one more set of interviews, I think. Um, we're gonna be talking about music media with Lauren and Cody here, but as they make their way up here. Are we all having a good time? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Wanted to make sure we still had energy, you know? Um, oh my gosh, I've been learning so much and having so much fun in absorbing all this information. I mean, Mr. White Keys, you don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> and like, your presentation was amazing. And wow, I mean, you say we can play circles around you. I don't know if that's true, but you can sure talk circles around us. So that was super fun. Thank you for being here. Okay, hi, Cody. Hi, Lauren. Hi. So we are here to talk about music media. And um, instead of me introducing you, I'm going to just let you guys introduce yourselves. Can you tell, about, tell us about who you are and your program? All right, I guess I'm going first. Uh, so sitting right next to me is Lauren Langford. Uh, she runs the Alaska Music Scene, as well as uh, does some photography and is a math teacher, as well. No, no, not, not math. <laughs> We're doing great. This is amazing. <laughs> Let's make a up teacher. job titles for each other. That's more fun. History teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right is Cody, he runs AK Concerts, um, which includes a constant run of events here in Anchorage and around the state. And I can tell you right now that Alaska Music Zine would not exist without AK Concerts. Really, uh, I, I plan my, my uh, schedule around what you have on your website. So. <laughs> Very, very good resource. Media collaborating with each other, we love it. Okay. So, um, let's start with you, Lauren. You recently started Alaska Music Zine. Um, zine, sorry. <laughs> zine. Um, can you tell us what inspired your journey? Yeah. So, I was a freelance photojournalist for the Anchorage Press, and I was contributing weekly to the ICYMI. And then suddenly and without warning, Anchorage Press closed in November of 2022. And by that time, I had already sunk a large portion of mine and my wife's income to low light photography equipment, which is expensive. And I was like, well, crap. <laughs> and sat around for a few months and listened to people saying things like, man, we need something like Anchorage Press. And I'd say, yeah, we really do need something like Anchorage Press. And then I was sitting in my classroom one morning during my, my planning period, and I was like, oh, what the heck? And so I launched Alaska Music Zine as a, yeah, as a, uh, a Facebook and Instagram platform f first with plans to expand into print medium later on. Amazing. Okay, Cody, can you tell us a little bit about your journey and how long you've been doing it? Yeah, I, uh, I started AK Concert in March of 2018, um, but it began a little bit before that as kind of a, first that it began on an Excel spreadsheet, a calendar for myself, I was juggling three or four jobs, and I wanted to go to concert, and I kept missing out on all the fun stuff. So I would plot when I was going to be at work, when I was going to be at my other work, when I was going to be at school, when I was going to try and squeak a date in, and when I was going to go to concerts. And my friends kept saying, hey, what's going on this week? What's going on this week? And traveling a bunch, uh, when I go to other music cities, I'll see they have calendars. Monday, all the music, Tuesday, every day. We didn't really have that, and so I just started building a website, uh, kind of as a little passion project. And then in March, I got fired from Willowa, and I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go launch my website, and I uh, have been doing it ever since. If you guys haven't checked out AK Concerts, it literally is like a one of the only, if not the only, comprehensive list of all events going on statewide. So if, yes. <laughs> so if you have friends in town or you have a free weekend, like that is a really great place to go um, to see what is happening in our community. 
And it's a big endeavor, and it must take so much time. Do you do it all yourself? Do you have a team with you? I know when we were emailing, you said um, one of the positives was that it gives you a lot of volunteer hours. And I was like, is he doing this all volunteer? Oh, my gosh. So tell me more. I am by myself for it. Um, luckily, there's uh, people out there like Chad Cotter or um, uh, the gallery from Arshenga, well, who will invite me to events that are coming up, so I at least get some notifications coming in of shows, but a lot of it is, yeah, I, I do it all, and um, I would like to bring people on, but I, I don't really make a whole lot of money doing it, and I can't ask someone else to, hey, come do a bunch of work, and uh, so I, I, I do it myself. Well, it's amazing work that you're doing, and the community is clearly benefiting from it, so thank you for all that you do. Um, yes. <laughs> and Lauren, like, can you tell me about what it was like creating your own opportunities, and what, like, what you have learned in that process, how it has fed your passion, your soul, and all of that? <clears throat> so, Alaska Music Zine, um, it's a combination of photography and um, like written band reviews and, and just uh, pumping up local music musicians. And it was cool to create this space, at least first for myself, because it was a way to continue uh, my work as a photographer and also a way to kind of tap back into my background as a writer in a way that felt um, safe and that is just 100% giving back to the community. Um, what I learned pretty quickly is that the need for what I'm doing is way, way bigger than what I have time to give and contribute to. Um, I would love for this to be my full-time job, but just like Cody, I'm, I'm not getting paid. And it is, I wouldn't feel comfortable inviting someone in to do what's essentially my passion project and be like, hey, this will be like a 50 hour a week job and you won't get paid. Aren't you super excited about that? <laughs> um, but the flip side of it is that, um, you know, I, I've been involved in a lot of things for, for years. I coach competitive sports and I'm a teacher. And prior to that, I worked for Kaladi Brothers and for Y of Alaska. And so I've had big roles in lots, of lo in lots and lots of places, but I can honestly say that I've never felt a sense of community until I got involved in the music community in the capacity that I'm in now. And so while I end up feeling guilty a lot of the time because people are like, hey, come to my show, and I'm like, great, I'll be there. And then, you know, that was like 7 a.m. me who was full of hope and life and hadn't spent the day with 150 teenagers yet. And then 3 p.m. me is like, I'm never leaving my house again. <laughs> But um, it's, there's a lot of joy in this and a lot of fun, and it's fed my soul for sure, grown my art for sure. I was actually, when I was contributing photos to this event, I was like, man, my photography's gotten a lot better. I can't believe anybody let me take pictures of them at first. I'm bad. Um, so it's grown my art and um, grown the community, and I have lots and lots of ideas. Um, but I, the music zine needs help. I can't pay you, but a mu the music scene needs help. <laughs> so. how, how can our community support you in, in other ways? Because like in, in many ways, support is free, right? We can comment on each other's posts, we can share them. Um, and how, how can the community support you? So I'm on Facebook and Instagram under Alaska Music Zine. Everybody should be pulling their phones out right now. <laughs> and you're going to go like and follow on Facebook, and then you're going to follow on Instagram. And when you see new posts of bands that you know, and especially bands that you don't know, you are going to share those posts and tell everybody about opportunities to see those musicians because um, local music really is grassroots, it's word of mouth, it's about you telling that person that you maybe know, don't know very well, like, hey, there's this really cool musician that's doing this really cool thing, and all of a sudden, Black Barrel and the Bad Men here locally is a really good example. They were playing to like nobody, and all of a sudden now everybody's like, oh, Black Barrel and the Bad Men, I 
coached them when they were very small. <laughs> and it was an effort of just saying like, hey, these guys are doing some really dope work. You need to go check them out. And now everybody is coming to me and being like, do you know Black Barrel and the Bad Men? I'm like, yeah, aren't they great? It's, you know, and that's, that's how we support each other. I, uh, I first heard about them from you gushing about them, and I saw them a couple weeks ago, and I love them, yeah. So thank you for that. And uh, if, you, if I can support you, I have a section in my newsletter that needs photos and a writer. Okay, I hate that. Look at this, Aww, you guys. This is this happening Aww. right here. <laughs> How can we support you, Cody, as a community? Um, that's a good question. Uh, like Lauren said, sharing and tagging and sharing. Uh, I don't know if it made the slideshow, but I can show everyone how to get the AK con on your phone very, uh, very easily. Um, uh, maybe, it, maybe it made it in, maybe it not. But <laughs> Hello. Only for iPhone users, uh, if you go to akconcerts.com, and now, yeah, we don't have it, so I'm going to have to just walk through it. Um, if you go to any website that works for anything on your phone, at the bottom of the page, you have the little share icon. When you tap on that icon and scroll down, and there's a section, add to home screen, you click on that. You hit add, and you will have a shortcut on your phone. So with the touch of one button, it'll take you right to that website. Can we train Mike? <laughs> AK Concert updates daily. I uh, have the list for any, every, uh, every day throughout the state. Um, it's not an all-inclusive list. I do miss a lot of shows, and I'm sorry if I've ever missed one of your... Uh, one of your gigs, but sharing and spreading the word is the best way to help. I just realized too, in general, like you talk about concerts that are about to happen, and a lot of the times you report on things that have happened, so we have like the whole pipeline right here. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but in that pipeline, like, do you see obstacles? I know in, in some of our emails we were talking about, you know, how a lack of promotion and a lack of the planning for that promotion can really hinder what you're doing. Um, so can you tell us some of, like, the obstacles that you might see that we as a community can do better? Because I think when we all talk about them, it, everyone benefits. Uh, I'm actually going to steal a quote here from Lauren Dixon. He said it earlier, and I was like, oh, gosh, that's really good. Um, repetition, 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 okay? You need to promote yourself to the point that the people that have known you forever don't want to be your Facebook friends anymore, okay? <laughs> As a musician, if you are not excited about yourself, if you are not investing in your public image, why on earth would anyone else get excited about you? Come on. Um, that means, you know, investing money in good, good photos, investing money in good uh, visual media with um, videos. It means your, your public persona on your website. It means your social media. You've got to invest time in that. And then this is me saying to me as well, you have to leave your house. You have to put on pants. You have to leave your house. You have to go talk to people. You've got to get out there. I, I think that the biggest thing that I see talking to artists in my work is that they are not nearly as excited about their music as I am. And you've got to promote yourself. You've got to promote yourself. There's very few people that will promote your work for you if you're not promoting it yourself. And yeah, social media, I think, is a very big tool. Uh, I'm not on TikTok. It seems to be very big. But <laughs> just uh, for me, I know Instagram stories and Facebook stories, every time you share that, when everyone else opens up their phone, your name is up there right at the top of the list for, um, oh, hey, a new reel, a new story, and being staying current and relevant and on people's top of mind. 
Absolutely. Yeah, and just to like pitch in with that, like as a community, like what it, I feel like we always underestimate the power of asking for help. Like if you put out on social media, like, hey, I would appreciate it if you, my followers, would share my post or recommend that other people follow me. Like we will do that for each other. So, you know, being able to do that and having the confidence to do that is another thing too. But another opportunity to plug office hours, which I will talk about in a second. Um, but before we wrap it up, is there anything else that you want to share with everybody here? Um, I'm just grateful to be here. Uh, I went to the first Akimi, well, my first Akimi summit a few years ago, and was just blown away by everyone coming together. Uh, I've been furiously scribbling and taking notes at everything, and I'm really looking forward to all the slide decks afterwards. And uh, yeah, excited for what music 2024 has. For my part in this, I'm actually gonna ask everybody to participate a little bit here. I've got a camera on stage with me. I'm gonna stand up and what I want everyone to do is like hands up and on the count of three, we're gonna say Akimi. Does that sound like something everybody can do? Yeah? Like we're excited about it. Thank Please you, everybody. Please give it up for Lauren and Cody. Thank you so much. And I said I would plug office hours just for a second before we move on to sharing the, the post. Yes, absolutely. Um, for those of you who are interested in coming tomorrow and are curious of what like topics that are going to be talked about, um, on the event schedule page at the alaskamusicsummit.com, if you scroll down, there are a bunch of bios that you will see of all the office hours hosts and their like topic of expertise. So if you're looking for someone to talk to in terms of like social media or branding or TV and film, like all those topics are listed under people's bios, so go check that out. Okay, I'm done. We got Lucy Peckham, y'all. Show up for Lucy Peckham lessons. No. <laughs> we got a ton of local heroes. It's really exciting. We This is a new idea, but we hope it will develop. Um, I'm going to throw real quick to what you guys said. Actually, Lisa, will you help me with just a couple of these? We can just read some off real quick. Yeah. Like, the solutions that you guys... You already have a microphone. Yeah. Have to. Um... <laughs> Double fisting um, microphone. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to see some of the some of the stuff you guys wrote. We have the most amazing volunteer crew. Can I please hear it for an incredible, organized, kick-ass volunteer crew? <laughs> so proud, so relieved. Woo. One of these volunteers. <laughs> um, Heather, uh, aka String of Lights, Heather Stewart, um, came back and. Uh, helped us type these up and even like categorized and color tagged them and oh, god I love a musician who knows her way around a spreadsheet um it's just the sexiest thing but let's just read some of these real quick we can't read all of them but let's just go for it there's more oh um venues house concerts teen clubs diverse spaces hell yes oh I'm going yeah, next just pick oh, one. great well, yeah uh, a musician we'll postcard and mailable cds with holiday songs Ooh. Okay. AK Concerts, I see a plug for that. Wearing the colorful jackets from Homer on all of our touring performance. I like that. Yes, costumes. Not enough costumes. <laughs> uh, bar gigs, making coasters with Linktree, Spotify, and Venmo codes. Ooh, virtual tips. Great mm -hmm. idea. What's PA invest? Oh, investing in your PA. Is that yeah. right? Okay, excellent. Yes, I have like five of them now. If anyone in Juno wants one. I don't know where they keep coming from. Um, who has the clicker? Um, John, I could do. you click us? <laughs> okay. This is community of practice. I love this. Um, going to live shows and meeting local musicians to build relationships that could in time turn into a unique artistic project. Has anyone ever collabed with a band you never thought you would collab with? Or a classical artist or a teacher or a... Yeah, I've seen some amazing stuff happen here. Um, I love this one. Mentor, by lifting each other, we rise. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
I like the range of concrete to abstract, tagging others and mentioning them on your own Instagram stories, reciprocity, shouting out other people. Sometimes I like them they introduce themselves or introduced each other. It is mm -hmm. easier mm -hmm. than doing your own bio. Each other. Them. I meant themselves, but yeah. they did it was I better. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is funny and also really true. Reaching out to other community arts councils because Anchorage doesn't have one. Right. Did you know there's this magical thing called an arts council elsewhere and they'll help you play a show in another community? They're real nice. Um, most of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know any bad. I don't know any bad ones. I just haven't. You know, I haven't yeah. played the circuit lately, so I'm out of practice. Let's hit one more. Um, performance anxiety. <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> How does Mr. White Keys feel about that? <laughs> Some people look really good with their eyes closed. <laughs> you <True>. know. <laughs> if you're putting on a show, dress like it. I like that. Yeah. Uh, well, I also like this. Relax and remember the audience wants you to win. That mm -hmm. can be hard to remember, but true. Mm -hmm. Building consistent, healthy behaviors when on tour. Why would you, why would you at me like that? Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, write a contract with yourself, guaranteeing yourself the same kind of treatment you would give a musician friend. I love that. Also, write contracts for each other. Yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Co write contracts in general. That's great. <laughs> So we got um, dozens and dozens and dozens more of these, and we are going to be sharing this um, and most of our content from today, the, the slides, the links, even links that are just mentioned in passing by our guests. We take the time to actually collate all of those and put them in our wrap-up. So look for it. There'll be the video from today that Frostline is doing. It's really pretty. Um, like, multi-camera shoots make you look like you know what you're doing when you're holding two microphones in one hand. <laughs> and... Uh, and we also do want as many people as possible to access those resources. So even people who weren't here will get this lengthy list of, oh, hey, here's this grant, here's this service, hey, here's AK Concerts, here's how you do X, Y, Z. So please remember, those resources are there for you. They are free. They're what we live to build. And um, you'll be getting them in your email, but they'll also live on our website for you to share with other people. We're a small scene. We don't have to compete. We can share this info around because when we do, when we all do better, we all do better. We've seen that happen here in the past when one place when a scene really happens and suddenly like or one one venue one presenter one artist really digs in and does stuff the scene grows around them right and it starts just developing we can do that for each other we can help each other that way um i'm gonna throw to one more set of videos and then we're gonna have our last panel of the day i'm sorry we're running a little bit behind but this is all such good stuff and we can't rush good stuff this is this is slow cooker crock pot wisdom here <laughs> <laughs>